A new era has begun in India, an era that will not remain confined to reading about the successes of America and China in history books. Now the world will ask, who created this? And the answer will proudly be India. Because India has achieved what once seemed impossible, the creation of its first quantum computer, QPIAI Indus. This is not just a machine, it's a symbol of India's technological self-reliance. It's a moment that will be remembered in golden letters. The day India entered the quantum age, where once New York and Beijing led the innovation race, now India has joined that league and done it without foreign aid. A small Indian startup named QPIAI has done what global tech giants could not imagine. No Tata, no Birla, no government corporation, just a passionate team of Indian engineers rewriting history. Headquartered in Bengaluru, the company has launched its first quantum computer, Indus, powered by 25 qubits. It's not just India's first, it's among the most advanced quantum systems in the world. With Indus, India has joined the elite club of nations leading the quantum revolution. According to QPI AI's founder, this is only the beginning. By 2026 will come Kaveri, in 2027 Ganga, and by 2028, Everest, boasting an astonishing 1,000 qubits of power. So what exactly does a quantum computer do? Imagine a supercomputer that takes years to solve a problem. A quantum computer can solve it in seconds or minutes. It operates on qubits, tiny particles that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. In other words, while a classical computer explores one path at a time, a quantum computer explores thousands of possibilities at once. The impact will be massive across medicine, defense, finance, weather, and research. It can help discover cures for cancer and AIDS in months instead of decades, create new materials and compounds beyond our imagination, and predict climate change patterns with unmatched accuracy. This is the technology that will define the future of human civilization. The world has often called India a nation of possibilities, but this time India has proven that it's no longer a nation of potential. It's a nation of leadership. After the launch of QPAAI Indus, American tech giants and Chinese research institutes were taken by surprise. No one imagined that the quantum revolution would begin in a country that, just a few years ago, was importing semiconductors. Indus showed the world that innovation doesn't need massive resources, it needs vision. India has demonstrated that when the direction is right and policies are clear, even startups can become superpowers. Now all eyes are on India. Could this be the country that becomes the epicenter of quantum technology in the coming decade? India's identity is no longer limited to yoga, culture, or space missions. Now the name India echoes in quantum technology, AI, and cybersecurity. Indos has elevated India to a level where technology is no longer just a tool of use, it's a tool of creation. India is no longer a consumer of data, it is becoming the creator of data power. With quantum computing, India's defense networks will become exponentially stronger, since it can crack any encryption within seconds. India is also developing its own quantum secure communication system, one that cannot be hacked. This single shift could make India a cyber defense superpower of the 2030s. Quantum technology isn't just science, it's the new axis of the global economy. With the arrival of quantum computing, India's pharma, automation, defense, energy, and finance sectors are set to explode with growth. Pharma companies will be able to test new drugs virtually, mining and metal firms will create ultra-strong new materials, and the banking system will achieve near-perfect security through quantum encryption. According to an IMF projection, if India continues its current pace in quantum research and AI integration, the quantum industry alone could contribute $450 billion to India's GDP by 2035. That figure rivals any major industrial revolution in history. According to QPII's roadmap, India is set to launch the world's most powerful quantum computer in 2028, Everest. It will run on 1,000 qubits, making it twice as powerful as the best systems in the US or China today. That will be the moment when India doesn't just compete, it leads the world in quantum technology. The goal is that by 2030, every major research lab, university and defense center in India will operate at least one Indus series quantum computer. India was once called the golden bird because of its wealth, culture and art. But the India of the 21st century is redefining that phrase. Gold today is not just a metal, it's technology, innovation and intelligence. QPI AI Indus symbolizes this new age, the nation that gave the world yoga, zero, 
and the decimal system is now rewriting the laws of quantum bits and superposition. This is the kind of gold no one can loot or trade, the gold of wisdom, innovation and self-reliance. When Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Make in India in 2014, many thought it was just an industrial campaign. But today, that very vision has transformed India into a quantum nation. Through the National Quantum Mission, the government has invested billions into research, laboratories and startups. Under this mission, India aims to lead the world by 2030 in quantum satellite communication, quantum sensing, quantum networking and quantum cryptography. It's not just about science, it's about national security and global strategy. The fusion of quantum computing and artificial intelligence will be the biggest technological explosion of the 21st century. Machines like Indus, Kaveri, Ganga and Everest will make AI systems millions of times faster. Imagine what takes weeks to train an AI model today, a quantum computer could do in minutes. This means India's AI systems could make data-driven decisions instantly, from weather forecasting and defense policy to economy and medical research. Until now, the race for technology supremacy was between the US and China, but a third name is now rising rapidly, India. The US has IBM and Google's quantum systems, China has Zhu Chongji and Jiuzhang, but India's Indus stands apart. It's based entirely on indigenous circuits and designs, and it runs fully on green energy. Through this, India has shown the world a new path, the fusion of sustainable technology and self-reliance. It's proof that high-tech progress and environmental responsibility can go hand in hand. Imagine India in 2030, where every university has a quantum lab, every hospital runs quantum diagnostic systems, every meteorological department uses quantum climate models, and every defense headquarters operates quantum encrypted communication networks. That will be an India that surpasses America in research, China in innovation, and Japan in speed. Every global investor, scientist, and tech company will look toward India, just as they once looked toward Silicon Valley. The soul of India has always been filled with knowledge, curiosity, and creation. Once, the lamps of learning burned in Takshashila and Nalanda. Once, Aryabhata and Bhaskaracharya dared to think beyond the stars. And today, that same spirit lives again through QPAI Indus, guiding the world in the new light of quantum knowledge. This is not just a machine. It's the power of India's thought. It is the emotion that says, we are not just consumers, we are creators. India's quantum leap proves that tradition and modernity can walk together. When vision is clear and intention is strong, quantum computing will no longer remain confined to labs. It will touch every part of the nation, education, healthcare, agriculture, defense, weather, and space. Imagine a farmer knowing precisely when it will rain and what soil suits which crop. Imagine a doctor finding a molecular level cure for cancer within hours. Imagine a commander who can alter strategy within seconds because quantum data has already analyzed millions of possibilities.